I'm at the edge of the arena here in Leipzig for the first day of the 33rd Rolex FEI World Cup jumping final. I've been joined by my co-commentator Steve Hadley. Very strong team of German riders here this week. Seven riders in all from Germany, Steve, and some real. They've got all, every opportunity, haven't they? To, they've, they've won this World Cup final seven times in the last nine years. I think, you know, we'll talk about each rider. This is a superb effort here from Marco. It's a smaller vertical than the flank. And you see and he's, he's, take, he's taken a second and a half of him. This is a very fast horse over a big track. Very fast horse in a Grand Prix. As you said, fairly won two qualifiers, and I saw uh, the second of those. This is a very good man on board as well. He's coming inside here. They're all going to go the same way now. Every available option has already been taken. Obviously, as you quite rightly said, a great advantage to go last because he's surely faster again. No, he's not. He's a little bit slower. Not there's any current Rolex FEI World Cup champion. He was one of the, one of the riders that uh, last year, when he won it, he used two horses. If anybody's capable of pulling two horses out at this level, he is. And he's, he's chosen to go round there because... And he's quick round there, wasn't he? I don't think that cost him anything, you know. Because this could be a new leader. Now, dare he gallop to the last. It's going to be very close. 63.55. So close. No. Just, just out. Into second place. I, I was number five to go, so that was not really... I need to go fast and clear as well and uh, today was a, I think a really good round but anyway I didn't expect uh, when I was finished that I stay in the top but in the end there was nobody faster even not with uh, fault there was nobody faster so I had a good, a good uh, round today and I'm very pleased with my horse he did a great job I hope uh, he will jump tomorrow the same.